Hello, this is Matt from the CC, and I'm here with a tutorial on how to download and make your first program in Visual Basic. Visual Basic is a programming language developed by Microsoft to develop applications for the Windows platform, including Windows 8, which I am using right now. Now, Visual Studio, which is the uh, developer environment that Visual Basic runs in, is a completely free download, so you can do this no problem, no purchase necessary. To start off with, you're going to go to your web browser, in this case Google Chrome, and do a search for, I'll just close these other tabs, Visual Studio. Just hit enter, and it should be the first link, microsoft.com slash Visual Studio. You're going to, you should see something like this with some other information. We're going to navigate to download, hit 2012 downloads. And then what you're going to want to do is click on Visual Studio Express 2012 for the latest um, version. And if you really want to, you could download the older version if you're interested in that, but both work. You can develop for Windows 7 and 8 on this one and 7 and 8 on this one so it really doesn't matter but it just may as well have the latest version. Uh, you, here you'll see there's quite a few different versions Visual Studio for Windows Phone, for Windows Desktop, for Windows 8, and for Web. This may sound very confusing but we're just going to go with Visual Studio Express 2012 for Windows Desktop. For Windows 8, that just means you want to develop a Metro-style app, like in the Windows App Store. And for Windows Phone, obviously, you'd be making apps for Windows Phone. We may go ahead and check those out another day, but for now, we're just going to uh, do this. Uh, you'll click on it and hit Download Now, and we'll just select your language. Of course, we're English here in the United States, so hit English, Download Now. Now I already have this downloaded and installed, so I'm just going to uh, cancel that. But once that's done downloading and you get it all set up, you will be uh, ready to go. The only thing it may ask you to do is create a Microsoft account or sign up with an email, and that should be no problem at all. You know, they'll just send you some newsletters and some helpful developer information. Um, all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and launch Visual Studio. In Windows 8, all you have to do is search for uh, Express, actually. And you should, once you've downloaded it, have an icon. Even in Windows 7, that says Visual Studio Express for desktop. So you can just click on that. And you will see this home page, I guess you could call it. Once you get here, you're going to want to hit New Project off to the left. And you'll see a bunch of templates right here. It may just have it open like this. This is all the uh, different programming languages that use Visual Studio as their uh, developer environment. And we're going to select Visual Basic just for Windows. And you'll have uh, quite a few applications you could develop for. Just go Windows Form Application. Under Name, say Hello World and hit OK. Now it's going to uh, create the form, or it should say creating project. This may take a second depending on how fast your computer is, and there you go. It just looks like an empty Windows 8 form. You have a toolbox over here, which is you know your buttons and all that other stuff. Over here it's the properties of the form, so if you want to you know, resize it or change the text up here, you'll notice if I type in hello world. Then it changes the text up here, and you can play with the colors and all that as you please. And that's one good thing you can do that I won't really include in this video is if you want to uh, play around with all these options and just get to know the properties bar, that's a good thing to do. And you can even make your own icon, which will appear there and in the taskbar if you wish. Now, to uh, actually see the tools, hit the uh, All Windows Forms button. And if I, I don't know if I said this before, but uh, go ahead and pin this. You'll see a little pin up there. It's normally just on auto hide, but just hit Toolbox and hit the pin, and it'll just stay there and stay out of your way. We'll make the box a little bigger, just give us some room to uh, work with. And if you didn't see how I did that, just move your cursor to the corner and drag it and make it whatever size you wish. 
Uh, to start off with, select a button, just click it once, and then click again on the form, and you can move it however you want. And we're going to uh, move over here back to the properties uh, tab window thing, and we're going to say uh, click me. And now it should say click me. You can make it a little bigger. Then what you're going to want to do is select it. You know, if you click once, it just lets you uh, change the size. But you're going to double click on the button. And this will bring you to the uh, actual programming part. All this fancy stuff is just automatically generated. It's just saying you're coding inside the button. And it's saying when you click the button, this is going to happen. So what we're going to do is what you do in any programming language, just to make sure it's working, you make a hello world thing. So when something happens, the computer just says hello world. So we're going to call a message box, tell it to show. So message box dot show, open parenthesis, hello world, close that, close parenthesis. And there you go. Now what you're going to want to do is, you know, come back to the forum, hit start up here, which is the debug mode. And you should see a little window pop up. It should look something like your forum over there. Click me. Hello world. You should see a little dialog box with OK. And that's how you do that. Uh, so now let's quickly play around with some labels. Also, congratulations on making your first ever program in Visual Basic. Uh, we're actually going to uh, have the button see what the adjust what the label says. So here we're going to double click on me again, and you can just delete this or save it if you want, if you want to save your first program. But we're going to say um, label one dot text. And it's kind of the same thing, not the parentheses, but we're going to say that equals hello world. So that's saying the label is, when you click the button, of course, the label is going to load in the text hello world. So we should just be able to run this again. Click me, hello world. And so that is just how you make your first program in Visual Basic. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe at Real Deal Productions right here. And there will be tutorials in the future showing you how to do some more things in depth and we can make some programs. If you were confused on something that happened here, leave it in the comments below and I will be sure to help you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Videos are just the beginning. Check out these other great websites for great content from the Computer Clan, and subscribe for more great videos from Real Deal Productions.